Hey everyone, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. Um, I don't usually do tutorials, nor will I probably ever do them in the future. Um, not really what this channel is intended for. However, I just spent the better half of my day trying to figure out something as simple as trying to control Spotify volume with only, or only controlling Spotify volume with my media keys instead of doing universal audio like this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So first thing you guys are going to do is go to the link in the description. It's going to be for um, auto key, hot key, auto hot key. And then you're going to get Toastify as well. Both of these things are going to be very useful. This is for Spotify only as of right now. I'm sure you can make it work with other things without Toastify, but for all intents and purposes, this is going to be for Spotify only. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is after you install Auto Hotkey, you're going to want to come down here to New and make a Auto Hotkey script. You're going to name that whatever you want. I named mine Volume. Okay, so once you're in here, um, you want to paste this right here. This will be in the description. Basically, this is going to be the default configuration for Spotify, controlling these two um, things right here. So if you go to the other, the other link in the description, it's going to be... Uh, this right here, it's going to be uh, Spotify's default keyboard sh uh, shortcuts. Right here, it says volume up and volume down, control up, control down. Basically, oops, basically this right here is um, left control. That's what that symbol means. So this is converting your media key to the default um, Spotify um, volume key binds or whatever. So after you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and double click on it and it's going to open up the script. It's going to be running in the background. And now when you go to um, play Spotify, you should theoretically be able to control the volume individually into Spotify instead of uh, universal audio. Now it's not going to show down there in the bottom right for me, but you can see that it's lowering the volume when I do my media keys. And I can just show you right here. Um, it's going to be doing this one individually, so it's not doing the universal. Don't know if I'm allowed to play that song, honestly. <laughs> Your next question is probably, why do I need Toastify then, Jared? Um, if you've already gotten the default keybind down, then what's the big deal? Well, if you want to lower the volume down while it's minimized, you actually have to use Toastify, because for some reason Spotify doesn't let you use keybinds in the minimized section. So once you download Toastify and you go to settings, under hotkeys, you can change it to control and then down, and control up, and it's basically, like, like I said, it's just like the default, but this basically lets you do that in the background. So if it's minimized, you can still change the volume up and down. Um, man, it, yeah, so I just really thought that uh, people could use this tutorial. It took me forever to figure this out. Something as simple as that, for some reason, there's no tutorials on it. So I'm sure a lot of people who like play Counter-Strike or something with music in the background, um, we'll find this really useful. I know I would I do uh, I think it's stupid that Windows 10 only does global audio when you use your media keys, but it's Whatever I found the uh, the workaround. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up Maybe subscribe for more videos. I do a lot of LSPDFR um, City Skylines um, a lot of uh, single-player let's plays all that kind of stuff. So um, Yeah, peace